Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is episode 9 of Learn Adobe Photoshop Elements. And today we're going to learn all about blend modes. Now I'm using um, version 12 of Elements. This will work exactly the same way if you're using, using version 11. And it will work in some of the previous versions too. It's just cosmetically going to be different. So you're going to have to interpret what I'm doing onto your version. What, we, what I have here is this photograph here, the sunset, and I want to enhance the color and I want to make it more, a uh, lot more contrast, almost like a silhouette. There's all different ways you could do that. I could have did it in Lightroom, I could do it with Adobe Camera Raw, I could do it in um, Aperture, anything. But I'm going to show you how to do it with blend modes and layers. Okay, the first thing I always mention is to duplicate the background layer because if you made a mistake or whatever you could just throw your duplicated layer away and you didn't damage any pixels from the original image so to duplicate it with a Mac hit command J with a PC control J and we have that duplicate layer okay first thing I'm going to show you how to increase the contrast by using a layer and blending it a certain way that will increase the contrast go up here at the top of the layer panel and you'll see the icons that go across the top very first icon looks like a piece of paper with the folder or the corner folded over and that's the create a new layer icon click on that and we call that a blank layer it's more appropriately called a transparent layer see that checkerboard pattern that's on the um, thumbnail here that indicates that we could see right through it and it's like a clear piece of acetate laying on top of the layer stack and it doesn't do anything we're looking right through it okay to increase contrast we could fill this with black and blend it a certain way and it will increase the contrast now there's three different ways you could fill it with black you could go over here to your color swatches and put black as your foreground color get a brush and paint it all black and we're not going to do that way that takes too long I'm going to show you one way right now go up to the top menu hit edit fill layer and make sure that the contents is black and you could mode normal just make sure opacity is a hundred percent okay and do not check preserve transparency alright click OK it just filled it completely with black now it's not being blended so it's blocking everything below it now we want to blend it go right above it there's this drop down here and this is the blend modes go down until you see soft light and there it blended it in to the layers below it with what Adobe calls soft light. I'm going to turn it off. There's the original shot and there's the shot of black layer blended in with soft light. Now as I look at it this foreground grass area is just too dark. I don't like that at all. So I'm going to do some, something else. I'm going to do another new layer and blend it in a different way and I'm going to enhance this grass. But I'm going to throw this in the garbage. I'm going to start over. So throw it in the garbage can. All right, create a new layer. Now what I want to do is I want to paint white just on the grass. Now I'm going to use a brush to do that. So I'm going to go over to my color picker and I'm going to make sure the swatch uh, is showing white as the foreground color. Go up and get a brush. Make sure you're using a soft brush. Um, go over here to brush settings. Make sure hardness is all the way down. So you're using a very soft brush. Okay. Next, um, size the brush by hitting the left bracket key to make it smaller, the right bracket key to make it bigger. Now make sure you're clicked on this blank layer. If you accidentally are clicked on this layer or that layer, you're actually painting right on the picture itself. And that we don't want that. Could you imagine if you accidentally didn't duplicate this and you accidentally were clicked here, you'd be painting right on that. That's why we always duplicate the layer just so we don't make a mistake. So click on the clear layer in uh, my layer stack. It's labeled as layer 2 and make sure you're painting white and just paint it on there. Now look at that. That looks ridiculous, doesn't it? Alright, don't worry about it. Just paint it on there. Okay, paint it on. Now we're going to blend it. Go to the blend mode drop down and pick overlay. You can see how it brightened that real bright okay that's what I want now I'm gonna do another new layer and we're gonna do what we did before we're gonna fill this with black 
Now before I showed you how to do it, we went to Edit, Fill Layer. We're not going to do it that way this time. This time we're going to use a keyboard shortcut. This keyboard shortcut will put will fill this blank layer with whatever is the foreground color in your color swatch. Now we don't want white, we want black, so make black the foreground color. If for some reason you don't have black and white here, hit the D key on your keyboard. That'll bring back the default colors of black and white. And hit X on your keyboard and you could get black as the foreground color or you could hit this arrow right here. Okay, so we have black. The keyboard shortcut, now I did this in the Photoshop for Photographers video, I did this exact same photo, exact same things. And somebody who has a PC uh, very kindly emailed me and told me that the keyboard shortcut I showed didn't work with his PC at least. So, and he told me a keyboard shortcut that does work. So for a Mac, for sure, if you hit Option Delete, it'll fill this with black. Now. If you have a PC in that Photoshop for Photographers video, I said to hit Alt Delete. He told me his didn't work, but he hits Control Delete and it worked. So if that doesn't work on your PC, Alt Delete, hit Control Delete and hopefully that'll work. All right, now we have this uh, black um, layer again laying on top. Now we have to blend it. Now remember what we blended it as? Soft light. Now that's the effect I want. See how this glass grass kind of glows with the sunset. I think that looks pretty cool. I like that look. All right. Now I'm going to do one more just for the sake of doing it. I kind of like this picture the way it is, but I'm going to enhance the sun area a little bit. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to create another new blank layer right there. And I'm going to use a gradient. So go to the gradient tool, go down here and make sure you pick the second one over that's going from solid color to transparent. All right, Then come over here and pick the second one from the left that's the radial gradient right there. All right. Now I don't want to do this gradient in black and I don't want to do it in white. I want to do it in a sunset color like a yellow or orange. So click right on the swatch and you'll come up with this color picker. Go down here and pick any color you like. I'm going to pick yellow. All right, I'm going to go probably pick that yellow right there. So that um, yellow is the color I pick. Click OK, and it's going to put that color in the foreground of your color swatch. All right. Now, if you look down here, it's our gradient. It's showing it's going to be from yellow. Oops, didn't want to do that. Let me click cancel on that. It's going to go from yellow to transparent. All right. It, now, the mode is normal, opacity 100%, um, tr transparency is fine, dither is fine. Dither just helps it blend a little better, actually, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the middle part of where the sun is, and we're just going to draw out a straight line. You could go any direction you want. It doesn't matter. It's going to put a circle there when we're done. Okay, so right about there. Now, you could see the, the glow it put here. Now, I want to blend that though. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to use soft light as the blend mode like we used before. Now, you might not see it, but I'm going to turn it off. See? Turn it on. See the effect it did? Now, you could bring it out further too. Um, let's try it again. Let's throw that in the garbage. Let's get a new one. Um, this time, I'm going to just go out further, maybe to there. And we're going to go down to soft light. And there's the effect there. Now, if it's too strong of an effect, we could go to the opacity uh, slider here, click here, and we have this opacity. And this will be just, you know, how, how much, uh, how strong it is, this layer is being blended. And bring it down to maybe in the 40s. That might be more uh, applicable. Now, a faster way to do the opacity slider is you just hover over the word opacity. You see your cursor. Uh, the the little hand will have two arrows on either side of it now of the index finger. That's called a scrubby slider. Just click down on that and you could drag to the right to increase the opacity or drag to the left to decrease the opacity. So just you know somewhere in the 40s I think is good and I could turn it off by hitting that eyeball. That's without it and that's with it. I just added a little glow. I just think that adds the nice effect to the photograph. 
and that's it that's how you um, could get into some blend modes there is a, actually a shortcut to go through these blend modes if you you know you want to try them you could just click you know and try hard light try vivid light you know try pin light there's a faster way what you want to do is though you you have to this uh, keyboard shortcut only works if you have a specific t set of tools showing it won't work when you have the gradient tool going because it has a mode here so the brush also see how it has this mode those are like the blend modes for the brush um, this keyboard shortcut won't work it'll actually be changing this not this one way up here on the right so just click on the hand tool let's say alright the hand tool is fine and hit shift plus and you'll go forward watch right here shift plus and you'll go forward through all the different blend modes shift minus you'll go backwards so you could just quickly go through all these blend modes and see which one you like the most so you could just keep going and as I mentioned I I kind of like soft light. You might like something different. Give it a try. So that's it for now. Uh, that's episode 9 and uh, we touched on some blend modes. In future episodes we're going to get more rambunctious with uh, layers and blend modes and masks and we're going to be doing a lot more advanced topics. So we're starting to get done with the elementary parts of, of um, Photoshop elements. We'll start getting into some intermediate stuff very soon. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, if you could go over to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd really appreciate it. And thank you to everyone that has already done so. And that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon.